Hey guys, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video. Now, I figured we would try our luck again with the rogue only farm going around, gathering up the treasure chests in all the outdoor zones. And this time I figured I'd give Outland a shot. Now, if you missed it, I've done this series before, farming an hour's worth of treasures. And we did Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdom. Go ahead and check those videos out if you're interested. So today, this is going to be like a part three, and we're going to do the Outland. Basically, if you are an outlaw rogue, you have the ability to track treasures on your minimap. Basically, if they are up, it will spawn in this little uh, area here. Now, this is actually an add-on called GatherMate 2. Basically, all you have to do is download GatherMate 2, click on the little import drop-down, Treasure check that and then import and basically what that will do is it will import all of the possible treasure chests that can spawn on the map in every single zone as you can see so basically that's the easiest way to do that paired up with being a rogue and you can track treasure chests so that if any are up there will be a little glowy circle to let you know to go ahead and loot that treasure. Basically, every single treasure drops a BOE blue world drop piece of transmog. It's completely random in terms of the value, but obviously it is expansion and zone specific. So guys, there's really not much to it. Uh, it's very easy. Um, I call it semi-AFK. I got a little bit of backlash on the last video saying it's not really AFK because you have to fly around. But I mean AFK in terms of you don't really have to pay much attention. You can just literally fly around and click when you see a chest and then go about your day. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'm basically just going to start at the lowest part of Outland, Shadow Moon Valley. This is the node I figured I'd start at. And just going to check out all nodes going around all of the single zones. And I will get back to you guys in an hour and I will share my results with you guys. All right, guys, here I am at my last and final chest in Zangar Marsh right down here. But I essentially did about an hour starting in Shadow Moon Valley. I pretty much just flew like a half circle up to Netherstorm. And then I came down to Hellfire Peninsula, did Hellfire Peninsula, and then I had about five minutes left. So I decided to head on over to Zangar Marsh. And so we ended up right about here. Now, this is the very last chest that I will loot, so let me just quickly kill that person and get the loot. And that is our last piece of gear that we are going to stop this session with. So let me organize my bags a little bit, get rid of some of this other valued stuff that I got earlier, and we'll get into the results. All right, so just for simplicity's sake, I just decided to vendor off these items. Don't worry, I'll buy these back as they're worth quite a bit. But there we go. We can easily see everything that is in my bags. So this top row is going to be everything worth over about 5,000 gold or so. This middle row is going to be some decent items worth about, you know, a thousand, a few thousand gold each. And this last row will be some crappier items. So the crappier items, we got the Elder Wizard's Mantle. It's garbage. We got the Earthborn Kilt. We got the Pauldrons of Surging Mana for a few hundred. And the Leggings of the Sly for a few hundred to a couple thousand region wide. Guess I should have moved that one down there. That's worth a few hundred gold. Nothing great there. We did get the Blade of Unquenched Thirst. It looks really cool. It has a nice blue chill effect to it. Got the Girdle of Siege, nothing too crazy there. We did get a Neck, but it is worth a couple thousand. Um, I don't know about how quick that'll sell. <laughs> it is a Neck, so you know how that goes with selling Transmog. We got the Blade of Trapped Knowledge, another cool glow effect looking dagger. We got the Chest Guard of Illumination, nice decent chest piece there. We got the Thundercaller's Gauntlets for a few hundred. And then we got two of these Cloak of Entropy. Two of these, about 1,500 on my room, almost 5,000 region wide. We got a very cool looking Axe of the Legion. It's a very nice region value, almost 10,000. Uh, 1,600 on my room, though. 
And then the one we just got in this chest, the Gloves of Pandemonium, 750 gold min buyout, a couple thousand region wide. Now let's go ahead and move on to the top tier items that we got. Starting with the Draenei Honor Guard Shield. This has a region value of about 3,000. My Realm has 6,000 for this value. So very happy with that. We got a very nice Bloodstone Hammer. This has a 9,000 value on My Realm. Uh, about 7,000 region wide. That one's very nice. The Fist of Reckoning or another really cool looking mace. It has like a, like a black glow on it. It looks pretty cool. That one worth about 5,000 there. We got the Leggings of Aquinas Disillusion. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, 2,000 on my realm, about 5,000 region wide. Then we got the Breastplate of Rapid Striking. Really cool, unique looking chest piece there. 7,700 on my realm, about 4,000 region wide. And finally, the really nice, the Braxis Staff of Slumber. It's a very cool druid looking staff. I don't know why there's one on my room for 40,000, but there is. Um, region wide value about 8,000 gold. So overall, this farm is really, really nice. Um, very happy with the amount of items that I got. I can't remember my last episode if we got this many items, but this definitely feels like a lot because each item is a chest, essentially. And we ended up getting 21 items in total, meaning we looted 21 chests. So overall, that seems really, really nice. Now, if we hover over our bag appraiser add-on, according to region value, we have a total value of over 82,000 gold. Overall, very, very happy with the items that I ended up getting and ended up keeping. I mean, yeah, this, this farm was really nice. I wouldn't expect to get 80,000 gold in value um, obviously this is region value. My realm's a bit different. Overall, for a farm that's as easy as just simply flying around on your mount and just looting a chest node here and there, to get a total value of like over 40k in transmog is really, really nice. Getting 83,000 in value in terms of the region-wide value is really really nice and unexpected i'm very happy with the results from this hour session and i hope you guys give this farm a try as this was obviously very successful for me now obviously these items are transmog so they will take a little while to sell but overall i have no problem waiting for more expensive items that would sell not a big deal to me whatsoever and yeah I highly recommend you guys give this farm a try. And with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching episode 3 of our semi-AFK rogue treasure hunting, farming, whatever you want to call this little mini-series type video. Appreciate you guys checking it out. And as always, if you enjoy my content, make sure you guys subscribe and check out my other goal-making videos. Go ahead and check out the previous two videos where I did this same farm on Kalandor and on the Eastern Kingdoms. Let me know if you guys want to see a part four to this. And with that being said, thank you all so much for all the support. Love you guys and good luck with your auction house sales. And I'll see you in the next goal making video.